Hey everybody, welcome back to Ilo Milo. In the last part, we got done doing these levels. Now, in this one, as you can see, I already have the star for this level, and I want to apologize for that in advance because I actually my uh, vocal recording got uh, corrupted because it was um, it got you know when you press record and it looks it just is like prepping the recording but doesn't record. It was like that stage the entire time. And I didn't notice because I used the uh, the video recorder to. Uh, to gauge how much time I have so I guess we're just gonna restart these hopefully I still have I just don't want to do like a vocal uh I don't want to do like a overdub without me playing at the same time because post commentary is just lame so anyway let's go start over here luckily I still uh my memory meter is all the way up we had three memories last time if I do believe um so anyway, let's go head over here, and this is Sebastian's story. Always welcome deviation from the game, so go ahead and put that there. Well, no, not yet. Oh, let's switch over to Ilo. We don't want to press that button quite yet, but um, first things first, we're going to want to talk to Sebastian. Did you like the first part? Well, let me tell you the second part of the tale of the Huntsman and the Fox. As the young huntsman loved his fiance, he rode out the next day again. When he found the fox, the fox once again said, Please don't shoot me. I'll give you anything, but please don't shoot me. But if I come home without your fur, my fiance will leave me, the huntsman said. You can have my tail. With that, you can give your fiance a beautiful fur boa, but in exchange, you have to promise me to never shoot a fox again. The huntsman agreed and cut the tail off the fox. When he came home, his fiance said to him, This is the smallest fur boa I've ever seen. The rest of the village will laugh at me. The huntsman explained the promise he had made to the fox in the forest, but his fiance would not listen. If you don't give me a figure, a figure, a bigger fur by tomorrow, I will leave you, she said. It's a real good story, isn't it? What kind of a fiance would crave such a thing of their beloved? A dirty, rotten shame it is. Anyway, I'm sad to say that I have to go now. You can't wait to hear the next part, right? Well, I think you might know where to find me, if you want to hear it. Yes, we do. In the next level. Alright, pretty depressing, I must say. However, let's go ahead and uh, put that right there. Now we're going to want to uh, grab this cube right over here. Place it right over here. Walk on over. Uh... However, when we press the button, this is going to detract inwards, as you can see. So we're going to want to place it right here. Cool little thing over here. You can just go ahead and uh, slide along. Can't really see it. Camera fail much. <laughs> but now that we've got that, we don't have to worry about that monster thing quite yet. We'll get into that in just a couple minutes here. Gonna grab the trap cube. Go ahead and press the button once more. And then we're here again. Now we can just go ahead and grab... Uh, I want to put this cube, uh, I guess we'll just put it right over here. And then we're going to want to grab that, and we're going to want to place it, uh, oh, wait a second, god damn it, okay. So let's go ahead and put that right here. Uh, uh, no! Put it right over here. Now we're going to want to put you back right over here, and then grab this. Alright, now we're going to drop down here so we can get into the under level which would not be available to Milo which means this is Ilo's chance to shine once again <sighs> God, and the amazing music of course now this part is where our meeting is going to be spoiler alert and we're about to get our last memory alright so go ahead and uh, grab all this uh, alright so go ahead and grab over here drop down uh, if I could see. Alright, now we're going to grab this triple cube over here. And there's the uh, photograph I already grabbed. Uh, with my broken recording. We'll place you over here. Uh, pick it up right here. And go, no, I said go ahead and grab this. Put you right over here. Grab you again. Grab this cube again, this extender cube. Alright, and I think that's all we have to do here. So head back down over here. No? Yes? Alright. Just walk on over here. 
And we're going to want to place this triple key right over here for that Jude to walk over so he could press the button that will allow us to extend our greatest thanks this way. Go ahead. If we can make it before the key touches the... Damn it, I was going to hope to make it before he touches the cube. And look! And we have to do it fast, or otherwise he'll press the button again. We'll have to wait like 15 seconds for him to do it again because he's dumb. But anyway. Arr! We have reunited! Yay! Very happy times. Oh, hey, I traveled in, like, 100 cubes less than last time. That's pretty good. I don't even know what I did last time. I pretty much just used the same route. I probably was walking back and forth too much, though. But anyway, all right, so there's the first level. Now let's get started on this part right here. The Dream Master. Have you found the Ultra Deluxe system yet? There were only two games produced for it. I Love My Little Shuffle and The Huntsman and The Fox. Besides playing games, the Ultra Deluxe system can also be used as a waffle iron. Yes, we know this. We are aware. Now here is a little, a level kind of based around the whole thing of these bouncing things. And we are about to get a memory pretty soon here, hopefully. I don't know. I got a memory in the other one, but there it is. All right. I think that's the exact same place as last time. Ilona, you never showed up. Where were you? so depressing he's waiting there for her somehow she gets the memory of her not being there but okay that's depressing though he's waiting there for his love and she never shows up now i'm not sure if i 100 percent demonstrated this quite yet but if you try and go in these bouncer cubes yes they're called bouncer cubes imagine that uh you won't be able to jump while you have something in your backpack which kind of sucks but that is irrelevant at this point in time because you can, uh, ah, no, too far. You can, uh, still walk on the adjacent cubes they're attached to, so. Forgot to introduce Ilo, or Ilo, Milo's part. Alright, so here, let's talk to Sebastian. He's going to talk about that creep over there. <laughs> I'm really, really lost now. Well, well, at least you're not the only one. This day had the most beautiful dream. I was in this red room bathing in milk from a lizard. And then there was sissy-haired Victor guy shows up out of nowhere. How positively rude, and now for some reason he seems to have managed to get lost here as well. This isn't a dream, right? And what's he doing here? If I only had some kind of dream machine to force this evil demon man back to his world. This is freaking me out, man. I'm gonna head back now. See ya. Yeah, that guy's kind of a creep. He poses. He's like the goo in that one other level that I kind of sucked at. I was editing it and I was like, God, I did kind of bad on this. But anyway... Now, so seeing as we can't jump, when you're uh, when you're launched in these cubes, you go forward a total of two spaces, and that's pretty important to know. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to place this right over here, so that um, whenever the bouncer cube's projectile is gonna be blocked, it will stop you from uh, launching in that certain direction. So. If that cube wasn't there, the only way I could go is that direction. However, with it there now, I can now choose my direction. We're going to want to place this here right now. So, I'm going to jump here and see, as you can tell, it's not going to let us. But we can jump either right or, well, not right because there's nothing over there. But we can jump left and we'll go this way. And we're going to want to drop down here, grab the photograph. And now that that's done... Now, the only way you can go is this way. Now, if that cube wasn't right there, then we'd automatically jump forward. However, since it is, we can now jump this way. Jump this way, this way, and since that cube is there... Whoops, no! I didn't want to go that way! Damn, camera, and then go back over here. <laughs> and that's pretty much all there is to it. And then we jump back over here, and this is where Ilo spawned. So we're going to go head back this way, since I think it'd be faster. Maybe. Yeah, probably. And then walk over here. And the mystery of the bouncer cubes is solved. We have reunited once again. And after I get a full memory, I'm not going to bother uh, getting the rest of the bells or whatever. 211 cubes traveled. You know, I could have probably done that a lot better, so I'm thinking maybe i do that pretty competitively. All right, let's get started on level number three. As you can see, I also uh, grabbed the photograph in this one, so let's just go ahead and get started. The moving creature does not actually like apple cubes. He prefers to eat cube bean salad well too bad for us i guess i don't know all right now this one is actually kind of strange we could actually as you can see we start right off the bat right next to each other and potentially we could meet each other in like 10 steps or something 
We're not going to do that. We're going to grab everything. So let's go ahead and uh, place this down here for Miss Milo to grab. Place that over here so she can walk on over. And uh, go ahead and... Uh, we're not going to do that quite yet. Uh, go ahead and jump over here. Grab all this stuff. Now... <coughs> oh, God. That was weird. Sorry. Um, go ahead and just walk back this way. And we're going to go ahead and take this. And you see, these are the the hint cubes that Sebastian gives us. We're going to place that right there. As you can see, a new area. So we're going to go pick that back up, grab this, and pick all these up. This isn't required by any means, like I've said in the past. So we're not to worry about that quite yet. We're going to walk over here. And there's the photograph. Pretty easy to grab. And uh, let's go ahead and recontrol. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, Alright, so... What Milo, what Ilo can do, she can grab this uh, triple thing right over here. I like when you like go under things. They're like, their antenna thing like does that. And if you're like, if you want to like move into a spot where it is, it like moves itself. That's kind of cool. But uh, go ahead, just grab that, and place that right over here, and there we go. Now we're gonna want to give this to Ilo so she has a way to get back. And there is that. Now, let's just have... We don't have to go over there. I guess I can just explore it for a bit, but it's not really required by any means at this point. It's just mostly just grabbing all this stuff. The only thing in this level to grab is that photograph, um, which I happened to grab off camera, and I forgot to... I forgot that this game auto-saves, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure I remembered how to do it because, like, I didn't say this in the in the broken recording I had, but... Uh, well, I did say it in the broken recording, but... Uh, um. It's been about a week since I last played this, so so I'm still kind of a bit rusty, but here's the underside of all this stuff. Uh, not really the underside, I should say, more like the side. But here, go ahead and walk over here, and here, very easy to grab, is the photograph. And that is the last thing we need. Now, all I have to do is uh, reunite, which is very simple. I'm going to want to put this right over here, and then place this right over here. I'm going to make sure we grab this. Now, this is all just mostly, you know... We can grab this, Milo, or yeah, Milo can go ahead, but we won't be able to meet quite yet. It's very easy to meet up though, so. Easier than the other one. This one is way easier than the other one. Go place that right over here. Now, it says to place this, like, right over here. I don't really, I'm not going to do that, because I like doing it different way. But go ahead and place it right over here. No, place it right over here. Now, we won't be able to grab this thing quite yet, but it's right on the other side. So what we're going to want to do, pick that back up. And uh, head over here. Well, I guess we probably shouldn't have picked it up because we need that for later. Uh, we actually need it to go back up here, so I'm going to just leave that there. My mistake. Go ahead and grab this. Another triple. Alright, and now what we want to do here, we want to probably, uh, I would say we would, uh, let's give it to, no, I said let's give it to Milo. And then grab that. I like how it's like, it's like in your face. But anyway, let's head back over here. See, I backtrack way too much. Whatever. I'm going to put that right here. And then, as you can tell, there's another one right over there. So we're going to put this, grab that. And um, here's this. And look, we can't meet. However, now we can meet. Very easy bonus level. I found this to be the easiest of the bunch. And... Those things are touching each other very, very weirdly, but 347 cubes, 111, very nice, and wow. But anyway, that does it for chapter two. We have completed this chapter. Um, I might go back and do these levels. I'll try and optimize my scores, and at the end of the LP, I'm just going to go ahead and do all this. But here's all these and all that stuff, and I already showed you guys. I found that I found out how to do that Skycast thing, which is kind of dumb. It's like the one option I didn't bother, and here's all the prologues. So this is pretty much what we've done so far. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and start chapter 3. I'm not going to do a level quite yet. But anyway, let's get started on the little intro. I actually love, love this chapter. The colors are so amazing. Hilo and Milo found their way out of the lake and dried the tears from their eyes. They discovered that they had crawled up on different sides of the lake. Well, that sucks. I like how they like on like cushions and stuff. God, I love like the little artsiness of those. But anyway... Once again, the friends were separated. Then Ilo came up with the idea to draw a map on a piece of paper and mark a spot where the friends could meet. Well, okay. 
a little pencil. Hoping that Milo would find it, Ilo folded the map and threw it as far as possible into the trees. Yeah, that sounds sensible. Curiously enough, Milo had the exact same idea on the other side of the lake. I love how it says curiously enough, like, that should be able to fill some plot holes or whatever. Impatient as the friends were, they drew map after map and threw them all around the park. Like, it's like all in their heads and stuff. And there's, oh look, and there's the uh, character. It actually looks a lot like, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, I want to say Klaus, but that's probably not right from, uh, Mother, but the Mother series. Um, soon everything was covered in paper, making it even harder for Ilo and Milo to find each other. Don't you think it'd make it easier if they were like blue or I don't know? But but anyway, chapter three, and we got an achievement. Advance to chapter three. So as you can tell, it's been kind of a while since I last played. Uh, yeah, about that. Anyway, I'll probably start uploading videos more frequently. Anyway, so. Uh, next time on Ilo Milo, I will talk to you guys. Uh, we're going to get started on this chapter. It's actually quite complicated, so thank God there's no time limit. I'll see you guys later.